Prince Harry is likely experiencing significant emotions following the loss of his key ally in the UK Parliament, Johnny Mercer. Mercer's defeat in the recent election presents considerable challenges for Harry's efforts to bring the Invictus Games back to the UK in 2027. According to a BBC report, Johnny Mercer was among several prominent Conservative Party members who lost their seats in the 2024 general election, which saw the Labour Party achieve a sweeping victory. Mercer, the former Minister for Veterans Affairs, lost the Plymouth Moorview seat, which he had held since 2015, to Labour's Fred Thomas. With this change, Plymouth is now fully represented by Labour MPs, as Luke Pollard retained his Plymouth Sutton and Devonport seat. But who will now push for Invictus Birmingham to fill Prince Harry's private coffers? All but one of Birmingham's constituencies have declared, and all are Labour, not known for their support of the forces in the past. Harry was compelled to apologize after violating confidentiality rules in his high court case by sharing private information with Mercer. Court documents reveal that Harry characterized Mercer as a loose cannon due to his actions. He emailed the Veterans Minister confidential information regarding his security claim against the Home Office. Despite this controversy, Harry and Mercer shared a close bond, partly due to their shared experiences in Afghanistan. However, it's worth noting that Harry's service was under the protection of British security in a bunker. Mercer had been a vocal advocate for the Invictus Games and was leading the government's effort to host the 2027 event in Birmingham. The strong relationship between Harry and Mercer was publicly displayed when they were photographed drinking pints of beer together at the 2022 Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. With Mercer's recent electoral defeat, Harry will now need to find another influential supporter within Parliament to help advance his goals. This setback means that Harry will have to establish new alliances and work diligently to ensure the success of the Invictus Games in the UK. Harry's involvement in the Invictus Games has often been perceived as an attempt to garner public support and attention. Some critics have even referred to the event as the Meghan Markle annual fashion show, suggesting that it's more about publicity than its original intent to honor and support veterans. The loss of Johnny Mercer a dedicated supporter of the Games, adds a layer of complexity to Harry's efforts to continue leveraging this platform for his benefit. The Invictus Games have become more about Harry and Meghan rather than praising the veteran athletes involved. Royal expert Angela Levin claimed the Games had been taken away from the original idea, adding that the veterans involved are regretful that the Royal is no longer on their wavelength. In summary, Harry is currently facing a significant political setback with the loss of Johnny Mercer his key ally in the UK Parliament. This development complicates his plans to bring the Invictus Games back to the UK in 2027 and will require him to seek new support within Parliament. The relationship between Harry and Mercer, which has been both personal and controversial, underscores the challenges ahead in navigating this political landscape. Harry must now work to build new relationships and find alternative pathways to achieve his goals in the absence of Mercer's support.